the notice of today's safety inspection. Well, <laughs> I'm sure Buford's been doing a good job. In fact, uh, tell him to see me right away. He's right here, sir. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, sorry, Buford. Uh, uh, well, tell me when the fire chief arrives for the safety inspection. <laughs> He's right here. Sir. Uh, oh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, and uh, Mr. Beater, uh, please make me an appointment to visit my optometrist. <laughs> Relax, everyone. There's no fire, but there is a fire chief. <laughs> He's come by today to give the school a safety inspection and give us a safety lecture. So let's welcome Chief Don Sizzlestopper. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, Chief Sizzlestopper. Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh, amazing. <laughs> How insightful. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Snodgrass, please. I don't see why we need to learn all this boring safety stuff. There are never any emergencies around here. <laughs> what? Ruby, we have a major emergency around here about once a week. Besides, the whole idea of being prepared for an emergency is that you don't know when they're going to happen. Oh, maybe you don't, but I know exactly when they're going to happen. <laughs> I know when they're going to happen, too, Phantom. All I have to do is check your calendar. See? Right here. Wednesday reminders. Pick up milk, check lottery numbers, and create havoc. <laughs> Friday reminder. Look for new sidekick. So remember, boys and girls, matches and lighters are dangerous tools that should not be played with. Chief, what if you're really careful and it's not your fault, but you get caught in a fire? Or worse, what if you actually are on fire? Good question, Billy. Now, what if you are on fire? Mrs. Snodgrass! Mrs. Snodgrass! Uh, not now, Fred. Don't interrupt the swarthy firefighter. Stop! Drop and roll. Fire needs air to live, so if your clothes catch fire, stop moving and drop to the floor. Yes, that's it. Then you roll back and forth on the floor. Keep your face covered so you can protect your lungs. This takes the air away from the fire and causes it to go out. After that, cool the burn with cool water and call for help. Now, are there any questions? Ah. Whoa, that's better. <laughs> now, even though I am the fire chief, <laughs> I sometimes need a little help. That's why I brought along my friend, Flash the Fire Dog. Flash! Flash. No way. He's so cute. Flash here is going to show us how he helps prevent house fires. First, Flash makes sure the house has a working smoke alarm. Second, Flash makes sure his house has an escape plan that he can practice with his family. Third, Flash knows two ways out of each room. Fourth, Flash knows that smoke rises, so he stays low and crawls underneath so that he isn't overcome. And lastly, Flash makes sure his entire family knows their safe meeting place outside. I could have been a safety mascot. You're a rat! Rats carry disease. In the Middle Ages, they carried the bubonic plague through Europe, killing millions. I wish you would have told me that before I made you that sandwich. <gasps> All right, everyone. It's time to test your fire knowledge. Cool. How do fires start? Uh, whenever I use the microwave. Fires are started in different ways, like when clothes are piled up against a heater, or a dish towel is placed on a stove burner, or if candles are left unattended. And when I use the microwave. How can you prevent fires? Uh, don't let me anywhere near the microwave. Prevent the fuel, oxygen, and heat from combining. Uh, for example, 
keep things that can burn away from things that are hot, store flammable liquids such as kerosene in tightly closed cans away from heat, and never play with matches or lighters. And what do you do if there is a fire? Oh, wait, wait, I know this one. Remain calm, sound the alarm, and evacuate the school. No, I was gonna say that. Well, you certainly know your stuff. But not to worry, schools are generally very safe. <laughs> Other schools may be generally safe environments, but they do not have... <laughs> Other schools do not have... No, no, uh, uh, cantaloupes? Me, you idiot! You, you idiot! All right, class, I want you to divide into pairs and get a safety checklist from Chief Sizzle Stopper. As a tie-in to Chief Sizzle Stopper's safety lesson, you'll be visiting different safety stations around the school to ensure that the area is indeed safe. <laughs> As I'm sure it will be. At least this is one test I can't fail. Fail? Hmm. There's a thought. What if the school was to fail its safety inspection? I don't know, Phantom. What if? Well, I imagine the fire chief would probably shut it down. And with the school shut down, I would have the entire place to myself. <laughs> Just imagine, Phantom. We could run in the halls without getting in trouble. I could have the weight room all to myself. You work out. <laughs> Thanks for noticing, Phantom. Here, want to feel my glutes? Get your glutes out of my face! This shouldn't take long. The school is in pretty good shape. <gasps> you had to wait. <laughs> First safety station, the main hall. How safe is it? <laughs> Not very safe. Mm, faulty wiring, exposed plugs, improperly secured light fixtures. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you might want to run your toe under cold water to keep the swelling down. A wonderful idea! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I imagine this will all be noted in the inspection report. Yes! Soon this school will be mine! All mine! Yeah! Ours! All ours! Let's hear the touch poem. I like the phantom very much, but must remember not to touch. Thank you. Oh. A shameless disregard for safety here. Oh, yeah, I'll speak to our arts and crafts teacher first thing this afternoon, yes. Hey, Principal Mulligan, haven't you been teaching arts and crafts since Mr. Pennyweather's paper mache accident? Oh, yes, uh, but, <laughs> yeah, I plan to give myself a firm talking to. Ah, uh, stuff left lying around, uh, nothing labeled. Pretty glow. Pretty glow. The kiln is gonna blow! <coughs> All clear. Whoa! Smoke can be very unpredictable. Well, I better see the rest of your school before it falls down around me. Yeah, oh, well, uh, I imagine all schools have the occasional safety glitch. <laughs> the occasional safety glitch? Ha! Hmm, let's see. I'll put my new office here. My hall of villainy will go here. Uh, can I have a playroom? I may save this room for the hot tub. Please, Phantom, can I have a playroom? I'm busy. The tiny playroom. Please, can I? Please, Phantom. Please, pretty please, Phantom. Can I? Can I? 
All right, all right. You can have the janitor's closet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, uh, look at the condition of this food. It's obscenely unsanitary. A, a revolting playground for festering bacteria. It's putrid stench masked only by the overpowering aroma of... <laughs> Tastes fine to me. <laughs> oh, a good lunch is just what we need right now. I uh, wouldn't uh, be eating that. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Edna makes the spiciest kielbasa this side of uh, 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 wherever uh, kielbasa comes from. Hey, all right, charades. Uh, okay, one word sounds like uh, uh, poking, uh, uh, soaking, uh, smoking, gloking, moking, yoiking, yoiking, joking. No, Principal Mulligan, I think he's choking. Oh, darn. That was going to be my next guess. <laughs> he's, he's choking. He lift his arms, and slap him on the back. Get him a glass of water. Can you speak? Can you breathe? We need to get help. He can't speak or breathe. Time for the Heimlich maneuver. Pay attention. Yeah, I'll uh, sit here and remain calm. <laughs> Use your left hand to find the sternal notch. Then form a fist with your right hand and place it thumb first against the person's abdomen, a few inches below the sternal notch. Place your left hand over it, then pull inward and upwards. <laughs> it's almost lunchtime, and this place is making me lose my appetite. I'm off. Well, let's check out the kitchen, shall we? Grease-covered floor. What else? None of the cleaning products are in locked cupboards. Excellent, son. You definitely know your stuff. Uh, yes, Marcus. Thanks for pointing that one out. <laughs> I think I'll turn the cafeteria into my personal home entertainment center. I'm going to renovate my new playroom. You know, repaint the walls, hang up some toy shells. Where did you get those screws? Um, well, uh, around. Around. Ah! This is disgusting. How come the water's so yucky? Well, from the looks of things, the diatomaceous earth filter system isn't working because somebody's forgotten to fill it. Diet delicious what? Diatomaceous earth. It's made from the cell walls of fossilized marine plants. It's used in some pool filters because it can hold tiny particles. When you get it wet, it gets really sludgy. Wow, that's really boring. How do you know so much? I'm a lifeguard in training. Yeah, maybe a dip in the pool wouldn't be such a good idea. <laughs> Nobody is going to have a dip in this pool. Look at this place. The pool depths are not marked. The personal flotation <gasps> devices are missing. Phew. Lifeguard chair in a state of disrepair. Ah! Help! Oh, no! He's being weighed down by his fashionable fire. Outfit. Help me! Help! Liddy, you're the lifeguard. Jump in and save him. He's a lot bigger than me, so he could easily pull me under, and there isn't time to call for help. It'll have to be a land rescue. Help. Help. There's no safety equipment, so I'll have to improvise. Help me tie these towels and this plastic bottle together. Help me! Help me! Help! Oh, now what do we do? I'm going to lie down on the deck, and you're both going to have to hold me while I throw the line to the chief. Oh. Why are we lying down? With a lower center of gravity, we won't accidentally get pulled in. No. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Anytime, chief. Oh. I'm glad there's only one place left to survey. I'm starting to run out of space in my notebook. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next stop, the basement. <gasps> Is 
Is there nothing safe in this place? A person could easily slip on this garbage and fall down these stairs. Just look at how loose these railings are. Oh! <laughs> look out <laughs> below! Oh dear, oh my! What? They should have failed this test ages ago! Can I help, Phantom? I can fail a test really fast. Silence! Uh, this tour ends now! Thank goodness for first aid training. I smell smoke! That means... Fire! <laughs> Forget about the rest of this tour. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. A uh, dock and um, cover. No, no. Uh, drop and roll. Oh, that can't be right. What on earth are you doing? You've set the school on fire. What do you think I am? Stupid? No, not stupid. I am, in fact, a genius! I have used the Enviromaster to create the illusion of a real fire. We're perfectly safe. Of course, those kids don't know that. <laughs> Everyone, stay calm. Uh, let's exit the school like we've practiced. Uh, meet in front of the school and stand with your homeroom class. Uh, the exit is near the uh, uh, teacher's lounge. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Talk about a safety hazard. <laughs> Everyone get low. We have to stay under the smoke. There's an emergency exit there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them scurry like rats. They don't scurry like any rats I know. Phantom, is the smoke supposed to be coming down here? Uh, get up there and close that vent. This is it. I can feel it. After countless attempts, I finally done it. I beat them. Now nothing can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where's the exit? It's behind those 50-pound bags of diatomaceous earth. Great! We can't go back the way we just came, so we're trapped. Wait! That's it! According to my mini Megamind, if we turn the water on full but clog the filters with too much diatomaceous earth, we can overflow the system and send the excess water down into the basement which is clearly the source of the fire. Lydia, Ruby, and I will clog the filters. I'll turn the water on. The water's on full. We have to hurry. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 I just stepped in something squishy. That was me. Oh. The smoke is ruining my silky smooth fur. Well, I wouldn't worry because in a matter of seconds we'll be taking a bath. Do oh, goody goody a bath? You can scrub my back, Phantom. <gasps> I'm glad to see that you took some of that boring safety lecture to heart. You were all wonderful. Oh, I have to agree. You've all done flying rhino junior high proud. Chief, I must say those bandages suit you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, that, that may be the case. <clears throat> but I still have to inform you that Flying Rhino Junior High has failed its safety <gasps> inspection. <gasps> oh, my. Although in view of the inspiring display of safety know-how exhibited by the students here, I have decided to give you all another chance. I'll be returning next week. I trust you'll all be ready. I, for one, am looking forward to seeing you again. Remember, kids, be on your toes. Most injuries occur in the home. Oh. <laughs> in the home? Well, I guess in a way, Phantom, this is our home sweet home. <sighs> oh, Phantom, I feel all warm and mushy now. I feel dizzy. Aww.
On account of what I said? No! On account of my bandages being too tight! Loosen them, you fool! You're cutting off circulation in my brain! Oh, I'm sorry, fan. You call yourself a sniveling sidekick. What good are you? Well, I do make a pretty good Hungarian goulash. Please! Your goulash is nothing to write home about. Now you take that back. I will not. You will so. I will not.